Hello, everyone. Today, I want to share with you some of the scripts that can improve your Counter-Strike 2 gameplay experience. But before we dive in, let's clarify what exactly scripts and macros mean in this context. In simple terms, a script consists of a sequence of logical instructions written in programming languages capable of automating complex tasks. On the other hand, macros are more like mini-programs designed to execute specific commands or actions with a single keystroke or action sequence within the game. While macros are simpler than full scripts, they're incredibly handy for automating repetitive tasks like weapon purchases or displaying FPS. Binds are the straightforward scripts of Counter-Strike 2, linking specific actions or commands to particular keys. For instance, you might bind a key for quick weapon purchase or to toggle FPS display. Despite their simplicity, these are technically macros, executing commands without complex logic. Scripts in Counter-Strike use alias commands, which aren't full-fledged programming but configure actions through console commands. They allow you to combine multiple commands into one keystroke or sequence. While not as robust as traditional scripts, they're effective for streamlining gameplay actions. Macros and Device Scripts For more advanced automation, software like Logitech G-Hub, Bloody, and HyperX Illusion provide tools to create macros for mice and keyboards. These can automate complex sequences and actions, mimicking the capabilities of full Lua programming in some cases. They also offer customization options like DPI settings and device lighting profiles. Now let's move on to the fun part, exploring my scripts themselves. The primary tools we'll be using are binds and aliases. Here's a quick reminder of their syntax. Bind, bind, key, command and value, bind, key. Command 1, Command 2, Command 3, Alias, Alias, Alias Name, Command and Value, Alias, Alias Name, Command 1, Command 2, Command 3. I will include one by one script in a configuration file named test.cfg and execute it from the console using the exec command. Let's get started. Jump Throw Script This script allows for a precise jump throw of grenades, essential for executing strategic throws in Counter-Strike 2. volume on walk script. This script increases boosts volume while walking and reverts to normal when not. This functionality is especially useful towards the end of a match when there are fewer players and detecting subtle sounds becomes more critical.
the high jump script. The script allows you to reach advantageous positions with a single key press. Quick Rotate Script allows rapid 180-degree turns by temporarily increasing mouse sensitivity while holding a bound key. Single Fire Script Single Fire is a valuable technique in Counter-Strike for enhancing precision and controlling recoil, and it can give you an edge in various game situations. fire toggle script. The bound V key switches the weapon firing mode between single and automatic. The change is accompanied by a sound.
Quickscope script. Quickscope, or fast zoom script, allows for rapid aiming and shooting with sniper rifles, improving reaction times in fast-paced situations. Using the script assumes that you keep the center of your monitor in view. In this quick scope script, I've added an auto switch feature that changes to a knife after a shot. When you press the attack key, the rifle zooms in. Upon releasing the key, the rifle fires and then automatically switches to the knife. In this quick scope script, I've added two features, auto switching to a knife after a shot and a weapon firing mode toggle. When you press the attack key, mouse one, the rifle zooms in. Upon releasing the key, the rifle fires and then automatically switches to the knife. Additionally, pressing the F key toggles the weapon firing mode between firing through zoom and regular fire. The switch between modes is accompanied by a sound. Scoreboard plus FPS plus ping plus network packets issue script. Pressing the tab key displays the current scoreboard, FPS, ping, and server status on the screen. When you release the key, the game screen returns to its original view. View Model Position script sets up a view model with specific offsets. This script effectively allows you to toggle between two different view model configurations by pressing the C key, providing flexibility in how the game view is displayed. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, 
don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Your support means the world to me, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Until then, take care and happy frags. Bye for now.